Today's video, boys and girls, is brought to you by the letter M and the number one. Today we're going to spend some time with the M1 carbine. Stick around, because it's going to be fun. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed. So if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. All right, nothing wrong with that. So, today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the M1 carbine. And back in 1936, soon after the M1 Garand was released, they started getting reports that support troops were complaining because it was pretty heavy and pretty cumbersome with them trying to do their other jobs. People like Jeep drivers, uh, folks that were operating radios, uh, folks that weren't frontline troops but known as support troops. So with that in mind, a request went out to come out with a defensive weapon for support troops that would weigh five and a half pounds and reach out to 300 yards. Well, it was a big success. 6.1 million of these were turned out during World War II. Even though it was designed by Winchester, the big numbers were actually put out by people like General Motors and Rockola, who made jukeboxes. So that's one of the most highly prized M1s you can get are the ones from Rockola. But anyway, these were designed for support troops, but also for paratroopers. You could get one of these with a folding stock that paratroopers could use for like the 101st when they went into Normandy. So it is a great handy little rifle. And this was used not just in World War II, but also during Korea and also by a lot of troops in Vietnam. So it's got about the same performance that you might consider out of a 357 Magnum. And it doesn't really fit into the category of a battle rifle for sure, or an assault rifle, which is a bit bigger. This is more of a PDF, a personal defense weapon, something that a truck driver would keep in the cab with him um, you know, until things got hot and it became necessary to have them. But it's a fantastic little rifle, lightweight, They've also been very popular with military, police, and with civilian personnel since after the war. So I'm going to finish uh, running a few more rounds through this. <laughs> that was seriously fun. You know what else is seriously fun? Shooter shout out. Yeah. Stick a fork in him. He's done. For our first shooter shout out, it goes to Second Gunman. He really enjoyed the Ruger Mini 14 ranch rifle video. And he writes, I enjoy my stainless ranch rifle more than my ARs. So does my 12-year-old son. It's just a sweet, shoot, and comfortable rifle. Mine serves as my truck gun. A simple four-power weaver scope and good light makes it a very capable rifle. I enjoyed the video. Hey, thank you much, Second Gunman. We really like the Mini 14, too. It's definitely got some legs on it, and it's a classic. Our second shout-out goes to M4 Assassin. He really liked Glock versus Springfield XD. And he writes, great and informative video. I see your channel going viral soon if you keep making high quality content like this. Hey, M4, we appreciate that. And you keep praying for us because we need all the help we can get. If you saw anything you liked in the video, check out the description box for more information. Also, we appreciate everybody sticking around with us. My name's Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We'd appreciate it if you'd all like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you all next time. Take care.